know, some some games just um, you don't see it, the outcome that really happens in the end. And uh, that's where we are. Uh, thought we had an excellent week of practice. Uh, we were getting healthy. Thought we had a good game plan. All those things before you play the game. The crowd was great. Great atmosphere for homecoming. We talk about starting fast. All those things happened, but um, you know, we haven't been able to finish you know, a lot of games. And um, you have to give Purdue, of course, a lot of credit. Uh, you know, offensively, we would like to run the football. We weren't able to get that established today. Had opportunity. Kicking game, we missed a couple. We missed a field goal, a big one. Uh, penalties to start off the, the the main outside penalty really, really hurt us. You know, starting off the second half, and defensively, just we've given up too many big plays, too many big plays in the passing game. Uh, so nothing went right. Everything, uh, of course, uh, went their way this game, and that's what we're going to talk about. This one for the day. But um, too much football left to go. We're at the halfway point, three and three record. Uh, so it's kind of what, it's kind of how we handle this disappointment as much as anything. Take your question. Look at what broke down defensively from the game plan. Everything broke down. They ran the football against us. Fast football. Talk about the big plays. No interceptions really that really mattered on our side. Uh, so everything. Third game this season, opponents have 590 or more yards. How would you evaluate your defense really second year? With we, this those games you talked about, we didn't play good defense. That's how we evaluate it. We didn't play the run well. We didn't play the pass well. That's how we evaluate it. Kind of obvious. It's not been placed on those three games. Just the four carries for Randy. At the time, you're trying to get what you can. You know, in order to be able to get more rushes, you have to have some success running the football a little bit, without just it being the quarterback. So, again, guys, on games like today, yes, we, we went away from the pass or got to the pass. So, uh, didn't stay with the run long enough. Not bad, you know, not because we really wanted to. Hindsight, absolutely. Lovey, what was? Uh... You, were you, how were you uh, impressed with your offensive line today? It didn't act like that they were giving A.J. a whole lot of time to maneuver in the back. We did not play well in the offensive line today. Uh, and again, guys, I'm not trying to be short with answers, but uh, we didn't play well. They dominated, dominated us on both sides of the football. Running game-wise, we were able to get it going. Starts up front. Last week, we talked about how it started up front to be able to run the football. Uh, they played well. Their defensive line played better than offensive line today. Couldn't get him the ball. That's simple that. In order for that to happen, you have to be able to establish drives. Uh, we didn't have a lot of drives. So, uh, Reggie Corbin, how many was he able to? No one. So, offensively, you know, when you can't maintain drives, it's hard to get that that ratio of carries that you'd like to get for all of our guys. And when you when you only have the ball for a short period of time, defensively when they're on the field most of the time, it's hard to get a lot of the offensive guys involved. Six, six games to this year, how do you evaluate your pass rushes and getting closer quick? Right now how we evaluate it it needs to be better. When you when you talk after this game, I said we said the same thing last week though. A pass rush needs to be better. It's like, you know, overall defense has to be better than what we play today. Again, based on the day, a lot of improvement we have to make. Coach, did you give any thought to a quarterback change earlier in the game? Or how, how much does the red shirt situation kind of play into that? It plays into it, but I uh, just didn't think that that was our only problem. You know, we talked about up front and all the other areas. Uh, we dropped balls. We had opportunity. So just wasn't on the quarterback. So, no, we didn't. We thought we needed to keep fighting with that group that we had out there. We thought that group gave us our best chance to have success. What would your message be? Sorry that we played this way. You know, disappointing loss today is what I would say. Uh, but as you look at the big picture, we're three and three. 
It's just form. There's nothing else. What do you say on a loss like that? Uh, it, it is what it is. And uh, they dominated us today. But we'll have our day is what I'm going to say. There's more football left to go. We'll uh, bounce back. We'll, we should hurt badly after this loss. But we'll bounce back next week. We don't have time to do anything except for that. You mentioned the concern for like, giving up big plays defensively. Is there anything in particular that maybe – out about him, how he was able to get 18 short plays. Then play the ball well. We had opportunities on a few of them. A couple of good plays on their part. Let them get behind us. Most time you see big plays like there's something going on with technique. We had opportunity. They went up, made right before the half, made a good play. We were in position to make those plays. I say that that was the case most of the time. Coach, what will you be, what will you be looking for early in the week going forward? Uh, we got. You have to go back on games like this. Whether you know, you have a great game. Same thing. You can't sure. look at what you did well. On games like today, uh, we'll evaluate and see if if it's, it's was this a one-time thing. Uh, we haven't played this type. Uh, Penn State blew us out late. This is we haven't played this bad in a game as I've seen it. So that's what we're going to say. It happens sometimes. It can't really give you an answer why it happened. That's what we're going to do. We're not going to overreact at the same time. We're going to, you know, correct the things that we need to, and get ready for the next game. Well, we have to see you have already come with great histories with defense. Are you surprised this hasn't caught on as quickly in the defensive scheme? Yeah, we would like to. We would like to play better defense than what we played right now. But it eventually will come. What gives you that that faith? That uh, history, said, and faith. There's a lot of things goes into just you just don't show up and all of a sudden start playing great stuff because you have a, a resident. There's a lot more that kind of goes into it. Uh, we play good enough defense to have three wins right now, and uh, we'll see what happens in the next part of the, of the season. Going forward, what do you have to do to make sure this loss doesn't have a long-term bigger effect on it won't. the season? It won't. We've been in this too long, all right? But there's a lot, and there's disappointment on today on this law. And that's what you do. You have to kind of react to what happened in the moment, and then you move on. That's what we're going to do. It'll be a new day tomorrow, all right? And a new game week next week for Wisconsin. There will be a lot of people will be disappointed. We're not going to be on the team that's disappointed on today's effort. But we want to be a part of that group that's really disappointed in how we play today, that come back next week, and we'll be answering a, a totally different group of questions about how well we play. Coach, do you, do you have confidence that the, the scheme on defense is kind of moving in the right place? And, absolutely. And, and the coverage it's is the Absolutely is a question. I have faith in our scheme. It has a proven success rate. And it'll happen now. It's not scheme, all right? There's a lot that goes into it. It's just not scheme. You just don't run, you know. We have a sound defense. We have a sound offense. Sometimes execution doesn't necessarily happen. How much did he play today? That's what he warranted. Uh, guys in practice warrant uh, how much time they get doing the game. Simple as that. Lewis has been coming from behind. So we're talking about missing time, so he has to catch up a little bit. He has some opportunity today. Then make a few plays, drop the few ball. You need to be able to make those catches when you get a chance. Lewis, like everybody else today, again, every position, scheme, uh, person coaching, everything today didn't happen. So that's what it is.